What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So we're about at the end of the year, and I want to talk about uh, Governor Justice. I want to show you guys this clip. Now, Governor Justice, he is the governor of West Virginia, and he responded to the what's been going on with Senator Manchin. So Senator Manchin is a senator in West Virginia, and we know that Senator Manchin is against or opposed to the Build Back Better plan. And so Governor Justice came out to back up Senator Manchin in his feelings when it comes to Build Back Better. And so I'm going to play this clip, and it, it's pretty amazing, uh, in my opinion, and we'll, I'll, we'll watch it, I'll talk a little bit as we're watching it, but it wasn't very coherent. And, and I'm going to stop in, in certain areas and just kind of uh, let you know how I feel about what he's saying, what exactly he's saying, because he's not saying much. And so we're going to listen to that clip. But first off on this channel, we talk about financial news and more. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you'll get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you also see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. But with 2022 just around the corner, uh, a lot of stuff is going to be happening very, very fast when it comes to the Build Back Better plan when it comes to voting rights and when it comes to some of the other issues. And plus it's an election year, so there, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. That's why it's very, very important. If you guys wanna keep up to date, uh, I do the daily video, so make sure uh, you do consider subscribing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right to this clip and listen to Governor Justice. Here we go. I've already said this one time, but uh, it, and I didn't really say this in direct response to like your question, but just think about just just this. First of all, I think uh, Senator Manchin's decision is the right decision. But I also think this. I think that West Virginians are West Virginia is doing well, and we're going to continue to try to turn every rock and help more and more and more of our people. Inflation is a really, really significant thing that we should really be concerned about. Just think, when we go to the gas, gas pumps or we go, you know, with our heating oil in the winter coming up or we go to the grocery stores and everything, if you just look around, you can see really, very, very easily that things are really significantly higher. Well, that cuts right into the pocketbooks of all of us. But the thing that I say more than anything is just this. I think we have, with the Build Back Better plan, I can't imagine that we call it that, but with that plan really and truly, it's just a movement, it's a movement across all of us and everything to basically turn us into a socialized society. You know, with all of that, really and truly, it just flies right in the face of West Virginians. Senator Manchin really and truly listens to West Virginians, and he's got to. He's got to in his position. We okay, so I want to stop right there. So he's talking about socialism, and um, I, he's not talking about anything specific when it comes to Build Back Better. Is he saying the whole plan is, is socialism, or is he talking about certain parts? He's not clear. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's not coherent. It's like, okay, socialism. This is a socialism or socialist a Build Back Better plan. Explain to you, to us what you mean, because there are a lot of things in that plan that people could benefit from, like the child tax credit, uh, like Medicare expansion, and like some other stuff that's in this bill. So explain to us exactly what is um, socialist about it. That that's, that's my issue. You can't just come out and say, well, yeah, it's socialist, but not tell us what, what uh, you think is socialist about it. We cannot have a senator a senator, a U.S. representative that we have in, in, in our senators. We cannot have them be non-representative of West Virginians. West Virginians believe without any question that this country is founded upon the right things, the right things that took us forward. The American dream, having the having grit to really get after it, taking care of those that are having a tough time, and extending a helping hand, that's what we do in West Virginia. And a lot of what's in Build Back Better does that. And that's why I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, obviously there are people that are, are will benefit uh, if you, if you um, need 
a child tax credit or if you need some of the other things that are in this bill, you're going to benefit from uh, this this Build Back Better bill. Now, I'm not just saying this because, oh, I, I want this whole Build Back Better bill. I think personally, I think it's a, it's a good bill, uh, but I'm saying this because he's not being specific. He's just out there just talking and, and, and not really uh, letting us know exactly what he means uh, when he makes these these different comments, because obviously uh, some of the stuff is going to help West Virginians. We do not absolutely promote programs of socialism. We do not do that in West Virginia. OK, ex- explain to us what these programs are. What are the programs of socialism that are in the Build Back Better bill? And we cannot be heard in that voice. And so I really believe that, that Senator Manchin is listening, is listening to all West Virginians. Absolutely, we want to continue to perpetuate West Virginia. West Virginia is on a great path. We have absolutely set it on that path. And without any question, West Virginia is going to continue on this path. So from, from the standpoint of my watch, I want nothing but goodness and goodness and goodness for West Virginia. You know, if they could have come up with a program that absolutely made real sense without just throwing money beyond money and creating more and more of an inflation problem across this great land and even and especially in even West Virginia, you know, then we may have absolutely been all of us. We may have had the opportunity to be behind it. But- OK, so let us know what that is. I mean, you, you put that out there, but let us know what what's the plan? What plan would you like to see? That would help a lot, but that he's not giving us any of that. He said, well, if he had, if they presented a plan that um, would be good, then we would go for that. But you're not telling us what that is. Give us some examples. But they didn't do that, did they? They came with a program really and true that was inflated beyond belief. It was a giveaway program. It was a program that hurt West Virginia in so many different ways. It was unbelievable. But more than anything, it creates runaway inflation and absolutely, basically creates a bill that is so unnecessary for all of us, it's unbelievable. The generations to come would have paid and paid and paid and paid if, in fact, they would have been Americans. You know, absolutely, I challenge you with just this over and over. If you don't think our democracy is fragile, you're absolutely kidding yourself. We have made this country what it is today by our beliefs and absolutely to deviate away from our beliefs and go into these silly no man land stuff that is absolutely perpetuated by the Biden administration is going to absolutely lead, lead to our, our decline in many ways. So, so no, I commend our, uh, you know, our Senator for standing up and, uh, and, but I think he's standing up because he knows that that's what the West Virginians that put him in office believe. That's what we do believe. And so, uh, okay, so that was Governor Justice speaking in favor of Senator Manchin not wanting to move forward with Build Back Better. Now, it's important to note that Senator Manchin's not calling the Build Back Better plan a socialist plan, uh, but um, Governor Justice obviously is, is is saying that. So, I would have just liked to have heard Governor Justice give us some examples of what he thinks would be a better than what's in this Build Back Better plan. And so we weren't getting that. And that's why I said it was just, it was incoherent in my, in my opinion, uh, because I don't think he raised any good points. I mean, you, you, if you call something socialist, then let us know what's socialist about it. Um, and the fact that these, some of this, some of Build Back Better would be helping West Virginians. I'm sure there's some people in West Virginia that would say, hey, you know what? I would benefit from this or I would benefit from that. So Governor Justice is not being representative of all West Virginians because some West Virginians would would like what's in uh, Build Back Better. Uh, and, and they've talked about it, too. You've had people come from West Virginia to talk to Senator Manchin outside of his yacht or in a boat right outside of his yacht uh, to to speak on behalf of West Virginians and say, look, we want this Build Back Better plan. So I don't know what to say. I don't know why Governor Justice uh, put this out here. And I don't know uh, what is going to happen when it comes to Senator Manchin and President Biden and how they're going to negotiate Build Back Better in 2022. Uh, but definitely uh, something needs to happen. Uh, so we're going to have to just follow it and see where it goes. But uh, obviously, Governor Justice, speaking on behalf of West Virginians, is opposed to Build Back Better. I wanna know what you guys think, so let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one.